So the question today is, is old bad? This is an old furnace. This is likely from the 1960s when this house was built. It is running a steel exhaust, which means it's either low or mid efficiency. Because the natural draft diverter right here, which we're going to look inside and see, this is actually a low efficiency running between 70 and 75%. Meaning for every dollar you spend on gas for this furnace, 25 cents is going to go right up the chimney. The other concern with these is that the chimney can become blocked and those exhaust gases can spill into your home. We have a humidifier here on this furnace. It looks in okay shape. There's a little corrosion, but the pad was in decent shape and the solenoid function. We've got an older gas line. The gas valve did open and close as needed when we were servicing the equipment. We also have what's likely the original water heater. This is a very old A.O. Smith water heater. They must have great water quality for it to hold up for the tank as long as it has. Um, there is a little corrosion here showing on the valve, but that's to be expected with something that's between 40 and 50 years old. Overall, that water heater looks okay. On the back side of the furnace here, we'll see there's an extra belt sitting up on top. This is a belt driven furnace. We recently just put a new blower motor in it because the original blower motor had failed. Is it time to replace? When I get asked this question, it boils down to two things, safety and financials. From a safety consideration, this furnace is in good working order. Financially, the customer has to decide if the ongoing operating costs of increased fuel costs and maintenance are worth the cost of replacing a new furnace. Let us know your thoughts in the comments.